Today I'm doing a little bit of maintenance. I am changing the oil on my Mercury Pro XS four stroke 250. This should be the same procedure for almost all of your V8 four stroke engines. Uh, a couple of the V6s have a very similar procedure as well. So if you're interested in learning how to change your own oil, well, you've come to the right place. So the tools you're gonna need for this process is you're gonna need a 5 8 inch wrench or a socket with a ratchet. I like to have a torque wrench because I like to torque things down to their proper torque. An oil filter wrench, an oil filter. You're going to need a funnel along with a catch pan of some kind. I like to have some rags to keep things clean. I have a couple miscellaneous screwdrivers here. I'm not sure if I'm gonna need those. I think there's a plug I'll need that for, but I can't quite remember. You need a half inch hose or a 7 16 hose is what it says in the manual, but I use a half inch. And obviously the oil that your engine requires. Mine requires 10W30 and these V8 engines require seven quarts of it. So be prepared to fork out a few bucks for this oil. So all the steps that I'm following come directly out of Mercury's operation and maintenance manual for my outboard. So you're getting exactly what they recommend. A few nuances of my own and I'll disclose those when those come up. So first it wants you to tilt the outboard out and up so that all the oil will drain into the oil sump. It says wait for about one minute. I usually like to crawl up, remove the cowling and take the cap off the top of the crankcase where I would put oil in at the end. This allows a little airflow to come in and allows the oil to flow a little easier through. It says after a minute, tilt the outboard back to the vertical position and then use that 5 8 inch wrench or socket that you have and just break loose the oil drain valve enough where you can turn it by hand then you're gonna to wanna to put your hose on the drain valve. Once you have your hose on there, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have your drip pan ready to go and available. Then you're gonna unscrew this valve by two and a half turns. It says, be sure you only do it two and a half turns, otherwise you may damage the oil seal. So we don't wanna do that, so only unscrew it two and a half turns. You can probably keep track of it by the text and the letters on the hose itself. Once the oil is done draining, it wants you to hand tighten the oil valve again and then remove your hose. It has a torque specification on the oil drain valve of 132.7 inch pounds. At that point, it says to go ahead and add oil. Well, we're gonna go ahead and move on to the oil filter change procedure. So to change the oil filter, it wants us to go ahead and remove the plug from the oil filter trough. There's a little trough that sits below the oil filter that catches any oil drips off of the oil filter and it drains it out. It wants us to remove that plug and install the hose that we had earlier onto that plug and have it drained to our drip pan. So have our drip pan ready. And it says after that, go ahead and remove the old oil filter by turning it counterclockwise. This is the part where you may need that oil filter wrench if it's on there a little too tight. Allow all the oil to drain from the trough, clean the oil from the trough, and then reinstall that yellow plug once again. Once you have the plug installed, you're gonna to wanna to grab your new oil filter and some brand new oil that you have and dip your finger in it and put it around the seal of the oil filter. It says to install the oil filter until the gasket meets the surface and then tighten a little more, about three quarters to one full turn. And once you're done installing the oil filter, now it's time to reinstall some oil. We have our oil cap off already. Just put the funnel in that little hole there. And then I like to pour in about six to six and a half quarts because my capacity is a full seven quarts. And then I will check the oil. So when I was filling the outboard up back up with oil, it took all seven quarts that it recommends. And I imagine that's because they really designed it that way. Usually the oil filter usually would hold some oil like in a normal engine, but this one is put in at an angle facing downward. So it is literally designed to hold exactly seven quarts assuming you drain it all out. Now I wanna talk a little bit about the dipstick here. 
If it is between the, this ball and this ball with the, the little black pieces in there, you are good to operate. However, if you're down to this one here, you need to add two quarts. So I imagine if you were here, you need to add one quart to get it full. Overall, this is a very easy and simple process. You shouldn't be intimidated by changing your own oil in your outboard. Save you a few bucks in the long run if you have all the tools and supplies handy. However, if you're also wanting to change your gear lube as well, I'm gonna have a video right here for you as well. And I'll show you exactly how to change the gear lube on one of these bad boys too. But until next time, see you later, fishing fam.